Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Michael Sheramonte. I'm the Director of Operations for Air Force CyberWorks. Uh, this organization became operational in August of 2016, and we've done so far two semesters worth of projects to include about eight projects for the United States Air Force. If you look around this facility, you may notice that it's not a typical Air Force cubicle farm or a government cubicle farm, and that's actually intentional. So the Air Force stood us up to really do one thing primarily, and that's to help the Air Force innovate in the technology space. To do that, we studied a lot about what those organizations out in industry do continuously that are successful in innovating. Innovation is one of those words that people say a lot, it's easy to say, much harder to manifest and do. Now, one of the things we learned of looking at the organizations like Apple and Google of the world is that they all tend to focus not on what the technologies that they're creating, but what is the experience they are creating for a user. So to do that, the Air Force uh, created Air Force CyberWorks to focus on this concept of human-centric design. And how do I use technology in cyberspace with a big C, so both what we do offensively, defensively, and how we use cyber technology as a force enabling mechanism to make the lives of airmen easier and more simple and intuitive. So one of the things that we do is we offer a, a course on design thinking here at, at right now is offered as an experimental management 419 class in which we try and engage a broad perspective of cadet backgrounds. So in this coming of semester we have 11 different academic disciplines from all four divisions participating in the class. And what we do is we teach them design thinking methodologies as applied to an actual real world Air Force project. Uh, so we solicit a problem from Air Force, either 24th Air Force, the CIO's office, the Chief of Staff, or Air Force Space Command, or any others, and we bring it into the classroom and say, okay cadets, we want you to give us a, a solution to this problem and recommend a way forward for the Air Force. As you do that, we're still going to have industry work on the project with you, so we usually have a half a dozen to, again, 10 industry partners actually in the class every single day on the cadet teams, co-collaborating with them trying to solve what this problem is. Uh, so they take these design methods and they apply them to this Air Force problem. Now what's neat about this is that since cyber is one of those domains that touch is every single thing that the Air Force does, they get to experience problem domains in the Air Force that are very complex. The command and control of cyberspace was one of those. And they helped the Air Force write a draft policy document for how the Air Force ought to command and control cyberspace forces. In the semester in the fall of last year, they did a problem where 24th Air Force asked us to look at how do you convey mission risk from cyberspace to someone, a commander perhaps, that knows nothing about the cyber domain. How do you do that? Here you're taking very technical data and you're trying to convey it to someone that doesn't really have an academic or professional background in that area. That's a hard bridge to gap. So the cadets spent a lot of time working on that and they've actually transitioned that project over to three corporate partners that are trying to build out a proof of concept that we can demonstrate to 24th Air Force such that we can get that capability into the hands of warfighters faster so that decision makers can make better decisions.